how does this work? When water gets into the zone, equal to the pressure coming in, it will discharge. So if you see water coming out of this relief valve, it's going to tell you what? The water got into this zone equal to the pressure coming in, and it's adjusting itself. Now, how is it getting there? Well, it's getting there through the first check valve, and this device is in a no-flow state, right? Relief valve will not open. Understand that. Relief valve will not open if it's in a flow state, provided that the relief valve is in an operating condition. Understand that concept. That when water gets into the zone, or let me rephrase that, when water discharges out of the relief valve, that means water is getting into the zone equal to the pressure coming in. We talked about how it gets into the first check valve. Now, how else would it get in there? There's only another way to get it in there. It's back pressure. Back pressure is coming in here. A pump comes on, or I have an elevated storage tank, and the second check valve is open, or won't close properly. So if the second check valve won't close properly, and the back high pressure water is coming in here, where is it getting? It's getting into the zone. The pressure in the zone is what? Greater than the pressure coming in, so it's going to discharge. That's really all you need to know about this valve. There's nothing magical about it. If you know that water gets into the zone equal to the pressure coming in, it'll come out of the relief valve. Or, when the water is discharged out of the relief valve, you know that the water in the zone, or the pressure in the zone, is equal to the pressure coming in. So if you walk up to a device and you see it discharging, what's that telling you? That water's getting into the zone. Now the next thing you have to figure out is that which way is it getting in there?